Once again, people are scurrying to try to justify some of the things they said, right? We see these boxing commentators. Now there's just, you know, this trying to stop the bleeding, right? Trying to put a tourniquet on what they said, you know, and stop the bleeding. People are trying to figure out what happened with Terrence Crawford. For those people who uh, know that I prefer to talk about self-protection, I'm going to go back to that. I want to explain to you why I'm talking so much about boxing. This may not be an excuse that you expect from me, but the reason I'm talking so much about boxing lately is because every time I intend to talk about something else and get back, uh, to self-defense and self-protection, which I will, I notice again, I see people again trying to backtrack. And this has been going on for 12 years, right? But for the most part, it's black folks. MMA, white folks. Black fo uh, uh, boxing, black folks. If I really want to be really nasty about it, I will mention their names. Because point blank, what I my material is is far and above what anybody else is saying on social media when it comes down to boxing. If only because I am one of the only, one of the only, and I'm not talking about Sean Porter and him, I'm talking about people who are boxing commentators, non-professional boxers, I'm one of the only, if not the only one, who actually shows clips of them doing what they talk about. will break down someone else's defense a professional fighters defense they will break it down million views how many boxing commentators can break down their own defense you see so if I really wanted to I could call people out but I don't but what I do get tired of are boxing commentators okay who try to stop the bleeding when things don't go like they said they would go. And that's what people are doing now. There are people now saying that Terrence Crawford lost that fight with Madrimov. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Okay? They're saying he lost that fight. This channel is dedicated to the same thing my new channel was dedicated to. And that is critical thinking. Many of you are saying that Terrence Crawford lost that fight. No. No, no, no. Terrence Crawford won that fight. He won it. Maybe split decision, maybe unanimous decision, but he won that fight. Let me tell you what your problem is. Majumov is being seen in the same way that uh, um, uh, Bradley was seen, Timothy Bradley was seen when he fought... Um, Manny Pacquiao. Okay? Same thing. When you expect a fighter to get blown out, if he survives, if he goes a distance, you go overboard with your appraisal of that in particular uh, person's performance and you say it should have been a draw or he won. The thing is, you put uh, uh, Terrence Crawford on such a pedestal, you put him on such a pedestal that anything that happened short of him knocking that man out, you were going to say Terrence Crawford lost that fight. No, Terrence Crawford won that fight. You can't hit a man with single shots. Single shots, sure. Did you see Terrence Crawford back up as much uh, as, you, uh, uh, as you saw in his fight with Majumov? No. Did you see Terrence Crawford get hit flush with right leads like he did against Majumov? No. Did you see Terrence Crawford hesitate, hesitate to mount some offense like he did with Majumov? Did you ever see that before? No. No. 
See, most of you don't understand that the hand movement of Majumov, the constant faking, this constant faking, was the same movement that Andre Ward used when he was sparring with Terrence Crawford. And if you look at that footage, all right, he doesn't mount that much of an offense against Andre Ward. The reason why Crawford um, did not look as good when he fought Majumov, I hope I'm not butchering his name, but the reason he did not look as good is because of the movement, the constant faking, the constant faking that Majumov used. It throws off anyone. Okay, and particularly if you've been told or you believe for some reason that the person in front of you has a great deal of power or has crippling power, okay, it throws you off and sometimes you can overthink. That's what Terrence Crawford did. So you people have never seen him back up as much. You've never seen him get hit with just right leads as, as much. You've never seen him hesitate as much. And now because he didn't knock this man out, you're claiming he lost. Well, no, he didn't lose. He didn't lose. You expected him to knock the man out. So what's going on with Majumov is the same thing that went on with Timothy Bradley when he won his first fight, when he was given that gift first fight against Manny Pacquiao. If certain people don't knock a man out, the average boxing fan, the average boxing fan just goes ballistic and starts to make claims and makes, make inferences and make accusations that simply are not true. Terrence did not look his best. No, absolutely not. He showed that 154 is the limit. Now, he grew into the welterweight division. He was a small welterweight. He grew into the welterweight division. He will probably grow into the junior middleweight division. He's not going to be fighting much longer, right? So it's different to say that he will grow in to the junior middleweight uh, limit. Um, because he he's not going to be in it that long. I don't think he's really going to fight more than two, maybe two times, three times at the most. Three more times at the most. But that said, he's a small, a small super middleweight. Or he's a small super middleweight. He's a small junior middleweight. He was once a small welterweight. And then he grew into a full-fledged welterweight, Right? Not much before he fought um, Errol Spence did he really grow in to a full-fledged welterweight, okay? But we need to understand something. Why is it that you were saying he lost? You're saying he lost because you expected him to blow that man out. Well, just because you expected him to blow that man out and he didn't doesn't mean he lost the fight. And that's the problem with the boxing fan. That is the problem with the boxing fan. Now, are there some professional fighters who might say he lost? Yes, I would disagree with them also. No, no. He got hit with right-hand leads. No, no, no doubt about it. He backed up a lot. No doubt about it. He seemed to be relatively unsure of his offense. Um... It wasn't as smooth. It didn't. He didn't. He didn't punch as smoothly. I mean, he he has a nasty disposition. He has a temper. He has a nasty disposition. He has a a nasty side, right? So that's going to come out anyway. He's going to throw punches. But he didn't look like he was really sure of himself. But it doesn't mean he lost that fight. No, he won that fight. I don't mind people disagreeing with me, as long as they're respectful. The point though is this. Just because a man does better than you thought he would do previously doesn't mean he won a fight. And that is really what is going on here. Terrence Crawford did not look good. No. He did not look like he should be even in the junior middleweight um, uh, division. No. He certainly, certainly doesn't look like he should be trying to fight Canelo Alvarez. Not because he doesn't have, doesn't have the skills but because he's just not big enough. And yes, when you fight Canelo, you cannot give him advantages. You cannot give that man advantages. If, if you have, if you, if you fight him on an even scale, you have a problem. But the people who beat Canelo, right, 
in, in, in this, this Canelo, I'm not, I'm not talking about the Mayweather Canelo, but I'm talking about the Canelo that has been in existence, who has been fighting for the last six, seven years. That particular Canelo, you do not want to give him an advantage. Okay? So Terrence did show that he needs to keep his mouth shut for now when it comes to Canelo. But he did not lose that fight. And these kind of ideas that a man loses a fight only because you had higher, higher expectations, that is generally, generally a fan mindset. A fan mindset. Who doesn't have to box. You don't have to box to be a fan, but you need to know the game. And far too many boxing fans do not know about the art of boxing. Terrence Crawford won. Not by a lot, and not pretty, but he won. Save Carmen. See you next video.